Digital product sellers could easily make an extra three to $500,000 every single year if they just knew how to market their brand through organic content. My name is Tanner, and if there's one thing I know best, it's how to generate attention for free through social media platforms. Years ago, back in 2017, I had built themed Instagram pages, amassing millions of followers. And the way I would make money with these accounts was by selling shout outs. And specifically, there was one brand called Fitty that would pay pretty consistently, buying shout outs every week, every single month. And at one point, I kind of just had a realization. I figured, hey, if they're buying shout outs so consistently, they're probably making money, right? So why don't I build my own e-commerce brand? And that's how it started. And in that very same year led me to making nearly $20,000 a day at just 16 years old by using Instagram pages. But fast forward to now, things work a little differently. Content platforms like TikTok and Instagram Reels are being used by digital product sellers like myself and many others to bring eyeballs to our brand and what we have to offer completely for free. And maybe you've heard of the term, attention is currency. So if you can get it for free, why wouldn't you? So in this video, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. Organic marketing, and how ultimately this can make you sales and lead to long-term growth for your brand by using videos that go viral as paid ads. And the idea for this video came up because just a couple of days ago, I had this guy message me. He said, Tanner, I got over a million views on this video, but I did not make a single sale. You know, it sounds pretty crazy, right? A million eyeballs, not one single sale. But when I looked at the video itself, it was pretty self-explanatory as to why he didn't make a sale. Have you ever heard of the term, not all money is good money? The same principle applies with your views. Not every single view is a good view. Because on the opposite end of the spectrum of this story, I was talking to a very close friend of mine and he was telling me about how he's promoting this new brand on TikTok. Roughly, he's making $1 in sales for every single view he's getting. So what's the difference between what he's doing and the person who got a million views and not one sale. That's what I wanna to talk to you about right now. Because when it comes to selling your digital products, content is king. We aren't selling physical products like this watch where I can look at it and pretty much know what it's gonna do for me. We are selling digital products. So an ebook cover or a landing page alone necessarily isn't going to attract someone enough to purchase. We have to create perceived value for our brand and products by focusing on the pain points of our ideal customers. And the way we do this organically is by creating engaging and valuable content. Now you may be wondering, what did the person that I talked about that got a million views but not a single sale actually do that led to them not getting a sale and why was it so clear to me? And the reason was because the video was what I call static content. It's a type of video that gets engagement and it gets views but ultimately doesn't really change anything and kind of just leaves you in the same places where you started. And good examples of these types of videos are things that just really don't provide any value. They're more so for entertainment or they use some type of trick to get people to engage with the content. But what happens when you do this is not only are you attracting the wrong type of audience, but also this audience is not going to trust you. Instead, what you need to do is create content around your specific pain points of your brand and your niche and your product so that you can build rapport and attract the correct audience. All this is, is building a relationship enough to the point to where someone will take their hard earned money and invest it into your digital solution. And there are three stages to your audiences here when you start marketing organically, cold, warm, and hot. You know, cold is going to be people that have never seen your videos, your brand, your product, ever before. These are the least likely of the people that are gonna go directly from seeing you for the first time to purchasing your product. You know, the next stage is warm. These are people that have seen a few of your videos and they've engaged a little bit. Maybe they've liked or commented on a video. This audience is going to be more likely to listen to what you have to say and take direction from you. And then the third stage is just going to be your hot audience. These are people that really trust you. They really like your content and your brand but maybe they just haven't purchased yet, even if they've been to your website. And when you understand that it's a process, you kind of have to create a snowball effect is when things will really start to click in your mind and you'll see a drastic change in the results from posting on organic platforms like TikTok and Instagram Reels. Because you have to keep posting in order to continue to nurture the audience that you're building and eventually leading 
to customers. And what's cool about this is the more you do it, the more content you have out there, the more content that will always be generating attention that will eventually lead you to a point where you're just making sales all the time. Even if it's from a video that you posted two months ago from someone that followed you three months ago and they just now decide that now is the right time. And what you need to keep in mind is you're not just here to make valuable content and have people view it. You also need to give direction because you're going to have much less sales and engagement if you don't have any call to actions. You need to have call to actions because people listen. If they like your content, that's some report that's already been built between you and them. So if you tell them to do something, they're going to be much more likely to actually do it. But if you don't tell them to do anything ever, then they're never going to do it because they don't know what to do. So how do you actually do that? And the best way I've found is to incorporate call to actions into your videos and into the captions of your videos. So if I'm making a piece of content around a breathwork technique to get rid of anxiety, I could have a call to action at the end after I give some value and say, hey, go to my bio and I have a playlist. I put together my favorite free YouTube videos that have sessions. Then in the next video, I can say, hey, message me on Instagram and I'm gonna invite you to one of my upcoming classes. And then in the next video, I can talk about how our guide helps you identify exactly what you're struggling with and what type of breath you need to do in order to relieve that. Just go to my bio and it's gonna show you everything. These are all individual different call to actions and you're gonna be wanting to test a few different ones. You never want to use the same call to action all the time because it'll lose the perceived value it has if your audience sees the same thing over and over and over. There's not gonna be any novelty to it. They're gonna be much more less likely inclined to actually follow that call to action compared to rotating it. Let's say for today, you have one to visit your free group. Next one, you talk about a guide you have. The next one is about maybe your course. These are all different call to actions that you're rotating around so that there's always something different that people are seeing. And as the time continues on, more views across all of your content, which equals more people seeing the call to actions and just the snowball continuing to roll down the hill and get bigger and bigger and bigger as far as the results you're getting. And the way I'm creating valuable content around the niche for my digital products is honestly pretty simple. I'm just taking the pain points that I already know and then reverse engineering them to create content. So if I know that my pain points for my niche are people that are having anxiety, or their mind is just filled with so many things, they feel overloaded, or they're stressed out. I will take these problems and tie them into the vehicle that's going to help them solve that problem. Now, the vehicle itself is not your digital product. A lot of people get this wrong. They think, hey, my course or my ebook is what's solving this problem, but no, it's not the product itself. It's the solution inside, the technique. So I'm creating content talking about how this technique solves all of those problems they're having using their words. If you're struggling to know what to do next in your workday, or if you wake up stressed about what's gonna happen during your day, you need to try this breath work because this person was experiencing this and then they did this and now they're here. You know, that's the point A, that's the point B. The vehicle in between is a technique, the solution. And as you're posting organic, sure, not every video is going to have 100,000 views, but you're basically guaranteed a chance every single time you post because a platform like TikTok is always going to push a video out to you know, a couple hundred people to start just to see if people are engaging with it and watching it. And if they are, then TikTok is gonna be pushing it to more and more people until another video that someone posts comes to take your place. But the best part about organic marketing and providing value around your niche as a digital product seller is the fact that by posting this type of content, you're attracting the right audience, your ideal customer. We're not creating static content that attracts an audience that would never purchase from us, that ha doesn't have the pain points that we're solving with our digital products. Instead, we're creating this valuable content that even if we get, a thousand views versus 10,000 views, we're getting a much more quality audience of people that pretty much fit our ideal customer base. And the more you post, the more this adds up over time. So don't just post five videos and text me and say, hey, Tanner, I'm not going viral, what do I do? If you're a digital product seller, you need to post every single day for at least a month. But also remember what Albert Einstein said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So when you see one of your videos perform better than another, take a look at it and try and figure out why did this perform better than others? Is it because I clickbaited? If so, then 
Don't do more of that. You're attracting the wrong audience. Is it because you provided a lot of value and people are engaging with it? Then do more of that. That's exactly what you want to see. What I like to tell business owners about organic marketing is that it's not easy, but it's simple because you do have to put in reps to see the results, but I can promise you it's worth it. And I want you to send me your results on Instagram at Tanner Planis. And what we can talk about in a future video is how to actually identify videos of yours that have gotten more views and engagement than others and how to market them through paid ads to scale with more of a predictable system. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a big like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.